This video explains how to use Google Spreadsheet and how to create one and be able to manipulate some of the more commonly used features. Now when you get to Google, first thing you want to do is log in and you'll notice that I'm logged in and I do want you to notice that this is actually, this was videotaped spring of 2014. Google has a tendency to change some of uh, its uh, locations of buttons. But at this point, this little set of squares is where you're going to click to get started. And the spreadsheet is found in the drive. The drive is the best place to work because you can share any of these files that you may have created in here with other people so you can work collaboratively. So it's really great for students when you want them to work together. Next thing I want you to do is we're going to go ahead and create a spreadsheet. Now, spreadsheets in Google are very similar to the spreadsheets you'd find in Excel. So a lot of these things that you're going to see are very similar. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a name. So I'm going to just call this, uh, let's just say Gradebook, just as an example. What I want you to do is go ahead and I'm going to put on the caps lock here and type student, week one, week two, week three, so forth. And if I want to, I can click on the one over here and I can make that bold so it stands out. And I could make it italics if I wanted to. And let's just say that uh, your student's last name, uh, that's Smith and Jones and Burrell and Franklin. Okay, so these are the names of your students here, and let's just start to give them some grades. So let's say that every week you give them uh, a ranking of how they did each week. I'm just putting those in and pressing return each time, and this student is not as good, but and then we'll just make sure that they're in a ranking of 1 to 10 just to keep it easier. Uh, now so after we've got our data in here there's a lot of different things you can do with that and what I want to show you right off the bat is that we can actually go ahead and make some of these changes uh, this is a heading that I might want to keep for a while. And you can see there's a variety of different formats here that I could choose from. If I wanted to add a row above, a row below, brand new sheet, if I wanted to create any of these things, if I want to create this as a list, or if I want to freeze certain rows. Now sometimes what I like to do about freezing a row is I'm going to freeze the first row and that way when I scroll up and down notice how student always stays up here at the top because I froze it up there. It's stuck up there. So that's a good thing is to freeze that. If you wanted to and let's say you had several weeks that went on for a long time you could click on the A and you could freeze the column. You could freeze column 1. And that way, when you scrolled over and over to weeks 16, 17, 18, notice that right over here, the names again still stay there. So I've frozen this top row and I've frozen the first column so that that doesn't change. That's a very good thing for you to know how to be able to do. A couple other things that would be helpful is if you want to sort by alphabetical, you can go to data and sort the sheet uh, by column and so generally it, gen it took all of the students and immediately sorted them by first and last name. All right. So if you had a longer list it would definitely show up a little bit differently. So we've also now talked about sorting these things. Notice that it did not mess up your data over here. It took it wherever it was and sorted that also. Notice that the 10 is still for Franklin over here. All right, let's go talk about formulas, the dreaded formulas in spreadsheets. Now, this isn't actually as hard as you might think. Uh, let's just start with the average. 
most formulas start with an equal sign and that indicates that you are typing in a formula because if you start typing in average it's just going to treat it like text just like the student's name over here but you want it to treat it like a formula so I'm going to go to average I'm going to choose this and now it's going to choose uh, the average and the parentheses means well what's the average you want to choose well if I click up here I can click and, and highlight this by clicking and dragging and notice that I could have just typed in parentheses b2 colon b5 and then just end with a close parentheses and sure enough there's the average okay I could do the exact same thing here again where I type that in, but you've already seen how to do that. Let's do the easy way. Uh, let's say that you again have 16 or 17 weeks of stuff. Well, why type it in over and over when you can simply fill it? Filling it means that you can actually copy it and paste it all the way across. So first I'm going to go here to copy. Oh, and, it, and on my computer it wants me to choose these. Uh, on my Mac it wants a uh, Apple C for cutting or for copying, uh, Apple X for cutting, and a cap uh, Apple V for pasting. On your Windows machine it would just be the Control key. And notice that it's a V for pasting because the uh, if you did Apple P that would be for printing. So since that's already taken up, they assign the letter V for that. All right, so I can just take this and copy it. Oh, I'm going to do our Command C. Click over here and Command V. Click over here and Command V. Notice that it actually, when I click on this, it now is saying, "Oh, well, I'm taking column C's numbers." So it knew when I went, it was it took the formula that was relative to the. Uh, column that it was in. Let's go over here and look. Again, it looked at the column D and it made the formulas fit for that. Alright, so that's formulas. Now there are a couple other really easy ones. If you wanted to simply add up uh, the whole column, you do the sum of the column. So again, you're just going to highlight this. Uh, you could have just typed in easily equal sign sum parentheses b2 colon b5 close parentheses and then press return so the sum of that is there now let's say you go back and you say you know what he didn't deserve an 8 he deserved a 3 because I found him cheating notice that these numbers immediately changed right away now let's say you found out that he wasn't cheating notice that it immediately changes here because what it's doing is it's immediately calculating what's inside of these cells. That's the beauty of spreadsheets is that you don't have to be going back and reworking the entire thing. Um, all right. Uh, again, I can copy this, paste, paste. And I've got the in week two. Wow, that was a bad week for this class. I only got a total of 13 points for the, all the students. All right, a couple other things that I'm going to show off now is taking all of that data. And I'm now going to insert a chart. This is also an important thing because data often needs to be displayed in a way that's going to make sense for people. And the best way to do that is by allowing the tools that are here this one allows me to choose a variety of different uh, charts that are here. I kind of like this one. It really shows how uh, Burrell really dropped in week two and regained. Uh, and you can see Franklin's really a pretty good student here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and insert that. And I can click on this chart and move it around if I grab onto the top there. Notice it's got to be up at the top there that I move it around. And so this is just an example of uh, some of the things that I can do with this. I can go ahead and delete it. I can save this image and I can put it right into a Word document if I want to. 
Uh, but you can see the power of why this is uh, so helpful. I'll go ahead and open this up really quickly and you can see that it's now opening it into another file that I could send to somebody if I didn't want to send the whole thing. But that's a wide variety of things that I can go in and do. So go ahead and uh, repeat this exact uh, same stuff or something similar to it. And uh, let's see if you can do some of these same things. All right. Hope this uh, has been clear enough for you. Thanks.